It's tea time with Granny. And this is Lazy Retired Granny. <laughs> it's Friday the 9th of August 2024. The time is 3.03 p.m. and I'm a little bit late with the tea time. Why? I've been sleeping my day away. I don't know why, but about 10 o'clock, oh man, I just completely ran out of energy and I slept for a little bit and I got up and then I laid back down and I got up and then I laid back down. Man, yeah, I am just sluggish today. I wonder if it's the weather. Ah, oh, boy. But, as you can see, I haven't got a lot of diamond painting done. So, let's try to remedy that. Let me put on my dollar store readers. Okay, and I was doing the twos. Okay, I don't see any more twos. So, if you saw in my community tab, I posted that it is my six-year anniversary. On this day, six years ago, I laid down my first drill on a diamond painting. And <clears throat> at the time, I was finishing up a Lego project. It was my last Lego, I believe, uh, project. And um, it was getting a little bit too spendy to buy those projects for the ones that I was doing. Yeah. Some of those projects are two or three hundred dollars. And I was getting faster at them. And you know what? It just wasn't worth it. So... I um, had been over at my son and daughter-in-law's house. They are now divorced, but she had this picture on the table. And I said, what's that? And she goes, oh, she said, that's diamond painting or something along those lines. I can't really remember. And I said, oh, that's interesting. And uh, she says, yeah, you just lay down these little things and I said you know and I said oh it kind of reminds me of latch hip which I had done previously so I was so intrigued with it because I had never heard of it before that I uh, went down to Michael's now Michael's is a ways away from me and, uh, but anyway, I had no idea what I was looking for. Um, not that big. I didn't know anything about it. So I just picked one out. Well, at the time, um, like I said, I was doing Legos. So I thought, you know what? I'm not going to start a new project. Oh, man, these are those fairy desks. Absolutely love these. Um, yeah, I just picked out a canvas and, uh, well, anyway, I finished up the Lego project I was doing. Now, at the time, I was doing short videos of my Lego project and putting it on my Facebook page. And before then, um, I was putting vi short videos of my latch hook projects or my knitting projects and doing some unboxings there, new yarn I was getting. They were just real short videos, nothing special. And So I finished up the Lego project and I got out this project, uh, Diamond Dots, and I was 
I remember that I was really shocked about these little bead things. <laughs> and they were so small. And it's like, oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Um, because when I looked at my daughter-in-law's, you know, I didn't examine it. I just saw her canvas laying there. And she didn't go into any details about it. And, um, yeah, it was kind of a shocker. But when I looked at the canvas and, you know, read the instructions, I thought, oh, this is just like Latchuk. And, but, you know, you're not using yarn. And, uh, so I thought, you know, this canvas that I got, of course, it was a partial. And I thought, oh, man, this is going to take me forever to get this done. Well, it was so addictive that, <laughs> yeah, the rest is history. Well, then I thought, well, these canvases are kind of expensive. And so I went on to Amazon, and I do have that video, my first unboxing of my Amazon canvases. And, yeah, and then I discovered China Mail. And, you know, the rest, like I say, is history. <laughs> so... And I actually, I either have a video or a picture of all my canvases. I do believe. Well then, um, well maybe I don't, I can't remember, but anyway. Then I discovered um, there was diamond painting on YouTube. And so I was watching different YouTube channels and how they were doing it, which was ridiculous. I won't go into all all the stuff that people were doing at the time but yeah it's it's really changed in six years it used to be because in just about everybody was getting their canvases from China and and then the premium companies were starting to come out. Um, uh, Amazon did have some more better canvases than the budget friendly. And I will tell you, the budget friendlies, if I could show you some of the ones that I had, they were awful. But the problem is that everybody was saving all their drills because it seems like every canvas, either the drills were really bad and you were running out of drills or they didn't have enough in the kits and all that. Well, these people on YouTube and their elaborate systems that they had for saving all the drills and what I didn't know at the time everybody was new at this and everybody had their own ideas of how to do this craft and yeah it was and there wasn't that many people like there is today, um, you know, they had the crafting channels. So, oops, there's some more I missed right in front of my face. So, yeah. A lot of stuff that people did 
It was a waste of money, a waste of time. And truthfully, nowadays, you do, sometimes, you know, I mean, everybody makes mistakes and you might run out of drills. Um, but it's not like it was before. Now, of the people that I watched on YouTube at the time, Hula Can was very popular, but they were above my pay grade of what I wanted to pay for a diamond painting. Well, you know, that old story, you know, that's old news now, and Hula Cans are actually more affordable now. Uh, but then I remember... I stopped watching a lot of the channels because they were making me crazy. All this stuff. I mean, to kit up or to kit down took hours of their elaborate systems of how they were saving drills and how they were um, kitting up. And I wish those some of those were still on. But the kit up, it used to be that all the kits came with your key, um, how many bags you got, how many drills to be in each bag, you know. And so you had to do an inventory every time you got a diamond painting to make sure everything was there and have this elaborate system and yeah it <laughs> oh my goodness gracious but you know but my china mail I got mine from new frog yeah I was always getting china mail. and then you think it takes long now it was anywhere from a month to a month and a half before you got your your China Mail. And that's what everybody called it, China Mail. And on YouTube, it was labeled China Mail. But anyway, this one lady that I watched, she went to these uh, premium companies and I really don't remember the names or anything and but she was spending a lot of money on diamond paintings and they were huge um, yeah diamond painting was really starting to take off and so anyway I stopped watching her because you know, I wanted to do budget friendly. That's all that was in my budget. And I actually did not own a premium diamond painting until like February, March of 2022 when they were on sale at Hobby Lobby. That's when I got my first diamond art club. And so I did buy up a few. I was so excited when I got my Chuck Pensons and I opened them up. It's the worst unboxing on the face of this earth. I was just so excited. I couldn't believe it. I was just, yay, I get, you know, one of these premium paintings, my first one, and, you know, it was exciting. I was just overjoyed. And so I was down at Hobby Lobby every other week looking for new 
canvases coming in. I could get it 40% off. And yeah, so and I would go to I wouldn't go to Michael's that much because it's far away from me, but Hobby Lobby and Joanne's are right next to each other, so. I was always checking them out, and then last year I found Dreamer, and that's where I stayed. I like Dreamer. And now that Diamond Dots Leisure Arts has branched out and they're doing more affordable canvases with still their high quality, um, they're my go-to, so. So yeah, that's the short version of my diamond painting, six years. I did stop diamond painting for a couple of months. I finished up all my canvases. I had nothing. And it was kind of a bad time for me. And so, um, yeah, I stopped diamond painting, and I was just knitting, and I was only watching Ross over at Smells Like Yarn, and he does diamond painting too, and he had gotten a bunch of new diamond paintings in and was unboxing them, and showing them off and he got the bug back in me again so yeah I got on China Mail Amazon or something and I'm sure it was probably Amazon so I'd get fast delivery but I ordered I ordered up a bunch of canvases and um haven't looked back And it used to be the only canvases I would do would be the 30 by 40s. That was my sweet spot and that's all I did. I didn't want them bigger, I didn't really want them smaller. And then um, I discovered special shapes and drills, which I had been doing off and on. I had gotten some, but... Um, They were trying to mail, we weren't anything special, and then Amazon. What, Ellie? Are you ready for dinner? Oh. Alright, let me put you on Paj. I guess she's hungry. She's giving me the signal. Okay. Fed her. I think that's what she wanted, but I'm not for sure. Okay, I'm enjoying ones. <sighs> I may not be able to stay on here very long because it is really getting warm in here. I need to turn on the AC, but that thing's so loud that it's like I'm at the airport. <clears throat> yeah, but I can remember Ellie and I took a beach trip <laughs> for a few days, and I loaded up all my diamond paintings that went with me, and yeah, I sat in front of the window with overlooking the ocean and diamond painting. That was fun.
Yeah, I might as well just continue on with the numbers here. Yeah, so I'm really so grateful that Hobby Lobby had that big sale and I can have kind of a new world open up to me. It always seems like there's something new with diamond painting. You know, either that you know that you haven't tried and they're coming out with all these new types of drills now and off canvas stuff and, you know it just you can always discover something new and the thing I like is that whether you're doing a small canvas or an off canvas project or a huge canvas all that you know it's always something different and all the different artwork that is available. Um, now, you know, the big controversy about stolen art and or art that is similar just to art, you know. <laughs> um, and all the drama that's unfolded around there and now what do we have we have AI art which is going to be a whole new dimension to diamond painting and kind of in my opinion with the AI art you know, some of the artists, you know, their money supplies not going to be there because people are going to choose to do AI art. So, and there's controversy about it. So, I don't know. I just diamond paint. I do not know all the artists out there um, and their artwork. And to be truthful with you, I can look like on Dreamer and see all their stuff on there. But I forget where I've seen it at. Um, so I may be, you know, on Amazon and see something I like and forget that I saw it over, you know, it's possible stolen art. Um, but you got to remember, you get what you pay for. So it's probably not as big. It's not going to probably have the ABs or the fairy dust or whatever is on there. Yeah, and let's be truthful. Not everybody can afford canvases from these premium companies. That's why they have budget friendly. And I will always tell you on here, I mean, if I do a canvas from Dreamer, there's no reason why you can't do something with a budget friendly that's similar to what I'm doing. I'm not saying, you know, stolen art type, but you know, whatever floats your boat, it doesn't matter to me. I'm just not a connoisseur of diamond painting. I'm not a connoisseur of anything, to tell you the truth. If you like it, buy it. Just my opinion. 
But on the other hand, if you do watch the sales and get discount codes and all that good stuff, it was just the same with my yarn. Did I go to these companies that their yarn was $50 a skein? <laughs> no. I got budget friendly. It's just a hobby that relaxes, I enjoy, you know, whatever. I'm not going broke over it. So. That's why I like Hobby Lobby with their 40% off every other week. And now that I've gotten back into Leisure Arts or Diamond Dots, which are, I guess, the same thing. Um, and they have those there. If there's one I like and I can get it for 40% off, and I, you know, I'm not in any hurry to get them because I really don't need any more, but, you know, I have to have it. <laughs> we always have to have more. <laughs> lines here. And now so many more stores are starting to carry diamond paintings. But I do try to stay off of looking for too many diamond paintings because, yeah, I'd be one of those that, oh, I have to have it. I love it. No, you don't need it, but. I forgot what I was doing. 29. The excitement of thinking about diamond paintings. I forget what I'm doing. I do look at Dreamer every week, see what they got, um, but now they do have a new Nikki Bomi out, another new one, but I think I'm going to pass on it. I really, really like her. I have several of hers. But it just has to be one that's calling my name. And that one that I bought, it's on sale right now at um, Dreamer. And it's the cottage. It's an, I think it's pretty old. <laughs> I love it. It reminds me of Legos. The rendering of it. And just on that alone, I bought it. But for me, it brought back a memory of something that I liked. And and I like cottages, so why shouldn't I have a Lego cottage? <laughs> I love that painting. And it's, it's still available. <laughs> That might be my next cottage that I do. Yeah, I've been itching to do that one. But yeah, if you go onto the Dreamer site and go to their on sale, 
It's the cottage. You'll know it right away. <laughs> yep. In my stash. <laughs> uh, I... And that was one of the first ones that caught my attention when I first went into the Dreamer site. One of the first ones I bought. Oh, there's a seven I missed, of course. But that cottage is not going to be for everybody. <laughs> Which is probably why they still have it in stock. <laughs> Yeah, I look back on my memories on Facebook at some of the canvases I did, and it's like, oh, why did I even post that? <laughs> it's so bad. contacted me about doing a product review. I've never heard of this company before. I mean, others have. But, um, but they're mostly they don't have any diamond paintings. Um, however, they do have knitting and crochet stuff. And I went back and I said, yeah, I'm interested. So I said, I only do knit, uh, knitting and diamond painting. And yeah, so I looked at their site and they have a little bit of yarn there. I'm real curious about their yarn. They don't have, it's mostly crochet stuff. So, yeah, so as soon as they write me back and give me all the details, I'll put in an, oh, oh, excuse me, I'll put in an order. can check out a new to me company. I'm trying to slow down on the product reviews because they take up too much of my time. So I need to diamond paint what I have. So unless they have something in, I would like to get a few different tool items, maybe something that's new that you might want to check out. Or if they have some new drills in a diamond painting, like this one, um, they have just started their fairy dust. I have never done fairy dust on Dreamer yet. I don't even know if they have fairy dust, but I haven't gotten any of those canvases yet um, that I know of.
and I do have a stack of them over there that I have to do unboxings for that I've just been so busy with other things that And to have the room to do it right now I do have reasonable amount so well this isn't very entertaining but that's about all I have to say I want to get this uploaded because I did promise you a part two I just wanted to you know say about my six year anniversary September 2nd is my two year anniversary of when I started YouTube videos for diamond painting and those that I did when I first started were pretty short <laughs> not like now so um, yeah we just grow and change and all that good stuff so anyway um, I hope you got some diamond painting done with me and um, laid down a bunch of drills. And with that, I'm going to get off of here and turn on the AC and find me something to drink. I think my cream soda is calling me. So, thanks for stopping by. And I will jibber-jabber with you later.